Another handy feature when it comes to inputting notes is this one here on the Note Input tab, Re-Input Pitches. And the way it works is as follows. What we're looking to, try to do here, we've got a, um, two clarinet parts, and what I'm looking to do is to put those rhythms in here, but with different notes, so it's going to play in harmony. So let's have a look at how we do that. I can select from there, so I'm going to click there and shift-click the second one, alt-click it down to copy it, so I get an exact copy in the second clarinet part. Now, I select the first note, I run the re-input pitches button here, and I get a dotted blue line. Rather than a solid blue line, I get a dotted blue line. All I need to do now is either use the QWERTY keyboard or the MIDI keyboard and tell it what the new note names are going to be, ignoring the changes of the rhythm, because I'm only re-inputting the pitches. So, for example, I can tell the first note is going to be an E, then an F, and notice that when I do the F, it's still the same equator, and the rhythms are not going to change as I go along here, just changing the notes as I go, but not adjusting the rhythms, and escape to finish. That's re-input pitches, a very, very handy B feature to be aware of.